Hi guys, this is Diamond Big Red. Here's Beast. And here's the video that I finally have kept promising you guys I was going to make that I keep putting back. Is what do I feed my animals? But first, coffee. You don't agree with me? Okay. Since I already have him out, let's start with the beast. Let's start off with my bearded dragon that I have acquired from somebody. I actually have a computer up with what exactly I feed my animals because that's a lot of information and it's only going to keep growing. So with beast, he rarely eats crickets, which I actually have a tub with one mainly cricket in there, which by the way was supposed to be empty uh, this morning, but... Certain somebody is molting. Oh, actually, molted today. <laughs> so, he mainly and absolutely loves dual roaches. It is his absolute favorite bug to eat. Which, if you guys don't know what they look like, let me see if I can get one out of you. I don't think. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. That is a double roach. There are, there's some, there's a guy here that molten. There's little ones running around. I am actually ordering a colony due to the fact of all the animals that I am going to end up having. I am better off having a huge colony to accommodate everybody. And then he also eats mealworms. Which are right here. Where are you going? If you don't know what they look like, I'll get one out for you. It's a little small. <laughs> Let me grab a bigger one. I want to show you guys a wimpy guy. And this tub is actually a 500 count. And yes, I do need that many. For one, he eats a lot of them. And for two... I have other animals. Ooh, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. They kind of look like super worms, but they're not. They're mealworms. And then he also eats collard greens, kale, and mustard greens. Which. There's my kale. There's one green. Yep, that's my mustard greens. Mustard. Ha! <laughs> Collard greens. And here is my mustard greens. He also eats carrots daily with this stuff. I don't have any on me at the moment. I have to pick up some later. And then he also snacks on uh, blueberries, strawberries, tomatoes, and sweet peppers, and a mon of other things they can have. A variety of different things, but you also have to be careful how much you feed them of certain items because you can really get them sick. The next one is of Onyx. Onyx is my Asian Forest Scorpion. She eats mainly crickets and then she also eats um, small dubla roaches, even though I can't catch her eating it. She is very uh, shy when it comes to eating, so I actually have to drop it in and then leave it. So that way she eats it because I'll come back and there's no bodies to be found. Where are you going? Where are you going? So there's no bodies to be found and she is getting a little plump. So I'm going to assume that, you know, she's pretty good eating. <laughs> and there is a new pet that I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, I have completely lost my mind today because it molted this morning when I was coming in to feed Beast. I was... Like, I was going insane, and I cannot wait to introduce this guy to you. Um, I'm not going to until after the new enclosure has arrived. Where are you going? So, you guys have to wait for that. Next is a Butch and Luna. The two dogs that we have, they mainly eat a 40, and I actually need to get more 40 food. Because I am running low, as you can hear. And they sometimes get the raw. 
which is uh, like basically when Chris gets his uh, specialty cut meats and everything, they get that and they get egg and also gets like spinach with it and along with a couple other things and they both absolutely love it. Um, I would do it more than occasionally, but I can't afford that and I don't think Chris could either. So we're feeding them with hoarding most of the time. Next is my Kikimara, my black tailless wonder cat. She also eats a 40. She actually gets the weight management because she has been overweight and to find out that she is actually about six or seven. I've had her for three years, so when I thought she was gonna be like four or so, no 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 no. She is six <laughs> She's probably six or seven. Yeah. I also want to add, when I switched Kiki Mara's food, because she was eating um, what a brand that most stores do sell, and her eyes were looking cloudy, and she was overweight. I couldn't get her to lose weight. And it was very, very, very hard on me, because especially after I learned that she is six or seven years old, so, when I took the chance to switch her food, her coat got a lot shinier, a lot smoother, her eyes cleared up, and she immediately started to lose weight and look so much healthier. The last ones I'm going to be discussing is of rats. My rats get oxbow food, which I don't have the bag with me because I've already brought the bag of oxbow food and already dumped it into the tub that you kind of see here. Um, the dirty lid. It already dumped it in here with the previous mix, but due to I am running low, I am making more. It only made, only bought enough stuff for like one and a half batch. So here soon there will be a lot more in there, but I am going to be showing you guys what do I do for the rat mix. I know the audio is probably going to suck, but I'm walking from my work to the store so I can get the food for rats. So, it's cold. It's dark. I'll be back. Trash food, so I am not getting any of this. Mm -hmm. And yes, I am at Wally World. Down the bacon aisle should be what I am looking for. Nope. Ah! I see my target. Ooh, cereal aisle. Yes, please. <laughs> Why, yes. The fun part, I am actually going to show you the mix of while I make it. Just note, I am missing a few items due to the fact that I am actually going to have to go back to the store because I am already planning on getting more food and whatnot. So, therefore, this is really what I would put with a bag of Oxbow, and it's alright in this mix with uh, its old mix that you can see here. And so they're going to get another bag of Oxbow tomorrow that's going to be added in here. And I am going to be looking for more of my, um, my veggie noodles here. As you see, it's like one is like this yellow, one is orange, and one is green. They absolutely do love these noodles more than any other noodles. So I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart, which you see that bag back there. So let me, let's get to it. Like I said, there's already some of the old mixes in here. Um, there's only a little bit left and everybody's going to get fed today. So I am going to basically show you everything I put in here. So I'm going to move all this to one side. I 
Caesar's nice open spot there. Uh, typically what I would throw in first is the oxbow, which as you see, it's already mixed in here. And this is what the oxbow adult rat food looks like that I like to feed my rats. A lot of people like to feed them Missouri. And there is another brand, I can't think what it's called, that a lot of people actually use, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, I get oatmeal, oats, and that's a lot in there. And this actually goes to one of my rats. So, that's the fun part. And then I go to nuts. You don't have to put it in any specific order that you can just do it however order you want to do. I also want to add that my rats also eat a bunch of different fresh foods that they get a uh, snack on because I prefer my fresh foods over any other foods. I do have a different mix of pasta. I figured I'll give rats a try and they actually look like margaritas, sharks, dolphins, and parrots. So I figured I'll give this one a try for them and let them have fun with that. There's a margarita glasses. There's a parrot. I don't know how well you can see that. That's actually a lot of the pasta from that little bag. And then cereal, Cheerios. I usually get the multigrain too, but only ones they had left in the store was a brand that has a ton of sugar in it. Now here's the fun part. I say it's fun. And yes, I am dumping. That's what they love eating, right here. I actually am looking for more fun, exciting things to put in this as well. So those are our expert rat feeders. What do you think I should add? And it's funny because while I was mixing this before, Chris would take these out to eat them. And I'm like, no, for rats, for rats. But yeah, that is how I do their food. As you see, for just one bag batch, it fills up uh, about half of it. So adding another bag and then uh, there's usually another nut that I put in here, but I couldn't find it. So. Yay! And that is my today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm curious, what do you guys feed your animals? It doesn't matter what kind of animal it is. Please share it. I would love to know. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!